New at 530, 20 years ago today, the U.S. Supreme Court banned the death penalty for people with intellectual disabilities. The landmark ruling involved a murder case out of York County and at the center of it, the tragic death of an airman and the man convicted of killing him. Philip Townsend takes us back to 2002. The end of March 2021, then Governor Ralph Northam signing historic legislation banning the death penalty in Virginia. The Commonwealth became the first southern state to abolish the fatal punishment. But not the first time Virginia would be at the center of a death penalty crossroads. On this day, June 20th, 2002, the United States Supreme Court would hand down a ruling that would change the scope of the penalty following a murder in York County. The crime was horrific. In 1996, Daryl Atkins was arrested for his role in abducting, robbing, and killing Eric Nesbitt, an airman based out of Langley Air Force Base. ATM footage of Nesbitt sandwiched in between Atkins and an accomplice taken just before the two men drove Nesbitt to a remote area and shot him eight times, killing the airman. Atkins was sentenced to death, but his mental competency would come to light, and the U.S. Supreme Court agreed to review that sentence. Atkins' attorneys arguing all along their client was intellectually disabled, and therefore the death penalty would be unconstitutional based on the Eighth Amendment, forbidding cruel and unusual punishment. And to treat someone with a small child mind as an adult and give them the death penalty should shock the conscience of the court. It should also shock the conscience and the standards of, our, of fairness of our, of our society here in America. The high court's ruling to forbid execution of the intellectually disabled set new legal precedent paving the way for a total ban in Virginia almost 20 years later. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. Despite the ruling, it was still up to states to determine intellectual disability. It wasn't until 2008 that Atkins' death sentence was reduced to life in prison without parole.